security tronics. The image of quality. Hi, thanks for checking out this how-to video for Securitytronics 8700 series DVRs. This video will show you how to search for video files on your Securitytronics DVR, play them back, and back them up. For the sake of clarity, we'll call out the need to right-click the mouse by specifying right-click. For all normal left clicks, we'll just say click. The graphic on the right will show each click of the mouse. For this example, I recorded a quick shot of my hand moving in front of the camera. I timed it to occur right at 9.18 p.m. on camera 1. That's the only recording on this DVR. Once the DVR is connected and powered up, we'll need to log in. From the main monitoring screen, right-click your mouse anywhere on the screen and a quick access menu will appear. Click on Main Menu and the DVR will prompt you to log in. The factory default for logging in is the username Admin with the password field left blank. Just click OK and the login screen will close. It looks like nothing happened, but you're logged in. From the main screen, right-click to bring the quick access menu again. Now click on Playback, and this search and playback screen will appear. Click the icon down on the lower right, which looks like a magnifying glass, in order to do a search. We know we want to search for an event on camera 1, so I'll make sure to select that camera. Since we know for this example that my hand showed up at 9.18 p.m. on March 18th, or as the DVR shows in 24-hour mode, 2012-3-18 for the date, and 21-18-00, we can put that in as a start time. For an end time, we'll use midnight of the following day, and the DVR will search for the clips which were recorded within the time range I searched for. If there was more than one clip between my start and end search times, the section on the right would show the list of clips, not just one. We can see the DVR returned one clip in the Search Results field. To play it back, click the checkbox next to it, then click on the Play button in the transport bar. The clip will begin to play back. Notice the start time of my search was 21.18, or 21 hours 18 minutes, yet the clip begins playing back at 21.17 and 46 seconds. This is because video recordings start when they are told to, whether by starting according to motion detection, or a schedule, or by initiating manual recording, which is what I did in this case. I started recording at 21.17.46, so that is when the clip starts playing back. This clip runs for roughly another 40 minutes, so even if I searched starting at 21.30.00, it would still start playing from the beginning of the clip, which is 21.17.46. When you search for a range of time, the DVR will return a list of videos which contain that time range, even though the video clip itself may begin sooner or end later than the time you searched for. If you want to back up the video file, it's very easy. Insert the removable media to which you will save the file. In this case, I use the USB thumb drive inserted in the front USB port of the DVR. You could also use an external USB hard drive, CD, or DVD burner, or an optional DVD burner installed inside of the DVR itself. To back up, click the checkbox next to the clip or clips you want to save. Once one or more clips have been checked, the backup icon will appear in the lower right corner next to the search icon. Click the backup icon and the playback backup screen will appear. In this case, my USB thumb drive shows in the list as an available backup device. If you have inserted a device but it does not show on screen, click the Detect button. Ensure the checkbox next to your backup device is checked, then click the Backup button. A new screen will appear which shows the file to be backed up already checked. Decide if you want to save the file as the DVR's native H.264 format or the more standard AVI format. Saving a file as AVI will use more space on your storage medium, but AVI files are easily played on common computer media players like Windows Media Player, QuickTime Players, etc. This is the recommended storage medium, especially if the video is to be given to a third party for playback and they do not have access to the DVR's dedicated media player. Pick the video format from the drop-down menu, then click Start. You will see a progress bar showing how much time is left during backup. Even though you may have searched for a very short time period, for example one minute, the video file might be quite large because it may be a one hour clip which contains the single minute you need. Through the magic of video editing we can skip ahead quickly to the point where the backup is complete. At this point all windows can be closed and the USB thumb drive can be removed. 
Thanks for watching. We hope this video has been useful to you. If you have any further questions, you can call us at 800-688-9282 on the East Coast and 702-785-0447 on the West Coast or email us at support at securitytronics.com. Securitytronics, the number one image of quality.